All right, so by now y'all are well versed in the conductors and the cubic inch for a conductor, but uh, now we're gonna move into some of the other things that go in a box that actually take up volume that we have to be aware of, especially on an exam, but in the real world, you still need to know about it as well because you, you got inspectors and they usually look for things like this. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the cable clamps and connectors and when you have to account for a volume for those. So let's get into the unit and we'll explain all the details. All right, so you should be in 3-2D of your course material. And as you can see, we've got two boxes here. We have one that shows the clamp outside. This is a typical non-metallic sheet cable type of clamp. And of course we have a box that actually has the clamping inside of the actual box. Okay, now these are very common for things like MC cable that go in and it clamps it from the inside. Um, very common in some of these uh, metal boxes for non-metallic sheet cable, it would come in and then the clamps on the inside of the box, not on the outside of the box. So we have to look at this because the box on the left has clamps in there, it takes up volume. Whereas the box on the right has no clamps in it, okay? But the clamp is on the outside, but it doesn't take any volume up inside the box, right? So let's go look at the material here. So let's look at A. A says external cable connectors are not counted. So A, these on the outside, you don't count them. B, cable connectors with the clamping mechanism outside of the box are not counted. Okay, so this is the part that's outside. And the associated internal portion with the lock nut, again, is not counted either. It's not gonna harm any volume here. So these, the clamp is totally outside of the box, okay? So now, where do you get all that? Here's your chevrons again. So in our course, you know it's important. Anytime you see those chevrons, we wanna go look. But again, I want you to see that it only applies to the outside of the box. So we'll go to the code. And we're gonna to go to B2. And here's your clamps right here. Pretty straightforward. It says, where one or more internal cable clamps, whether factory or field supplied, are present in the box, a single volume. So even if I have multiple clamps in that box, it is one single volume, okay? And it's based on what? It's based on the largest conductor that is in the box, okay? So here it's telling, and where do we get that volume for that largest conductor? Right there again in table 314.16b. I can click that, you can see it. This is the table we saw in previous videos that gives you the volume in cubic inches for conductors from 18 gauge all the way up to six gauge, okay? So that's where we got it. So let's go back here. Okay, so we're back at the clamp here. Uh, it says, no allowances shall be required for a cable connector with its clamping mechanism outside of the box. So, if we're back at our graphic again, this one, outside of the box, no volume count. This one, inside of the box, okay? So next, let's look at C says two internal clamps count as one. So remember what we just saw in 314.16b2? It doesn't matter if you have three, four, or five, it's a four gang, three gang, whatever. As far as the internal clamps, they count as one. And when we hear things like one volume count, remember we're talking about it, it's equivalent to one conductor. But it's gonna be, when it comes to the volume, it's the largest conductors that are in the box. Even if that clamp may be only holding a 14 gauge, if there's a 12 gauge in that box and that's the largest, that's the volume count that you're gonna use, 2.25 for that clamp rather than 2.00, which is what 14 gauge would be, okay? Use the largest conductor in the box for this. And again, even though I've got two clamps here, it's just one additional volume count for these clamps. All right, D right here. It says the internal cable clamp, whether it's factory or field supplied, shall be counted as one conductor. We saw that when we read that a minute ago, we went to the code. Where more than one size conductor is present in a box, the clamp shall be counted as the largest conductor, okay? So again, if I had 14 gauges and 12 gauges and 10 gauges coming into this box, when I'm counting for the volume for the clamp, 
it's going to be the largest conductor in the box. So in this case, if there was 14, 12s and 10s in there, just for argument's sake, then I'm going to be using the 10 gauge volume for this. Make sense? That's what you got to keep in mind when you're accounting for the clamps that are inside of a box, okay? So again, remember, one, two, three, four, five clamps internal to a box still count as one conductor or one volume count, all right? And you always want to use the largest conductor that is in the box when you're adding that volume count. Make sense? All right, we're working our way through it. Okay, we, we show you how to do conductors, how they count for their cubic inches. We went and saw that in the table. Now we worked on and we saw how cable clamps take up volume. Let's move on to the next unit. We'll get even deeper into it.